what's on my iPhone, which is flowery case, an inspo board, and my actual phone, my app library. Hey everybody, recently I got a phone, so today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone. Let's just get started with the video. Like I said, I recently got a phone. I actually got it for my birthday. It is an XS. So on the outside, it is rose gold, and then I just have this flowery case. I wanna get some more cases eventually, like when I, a plain one to put, put a pop socket on or something, but I really, really like this case. So this is my home screen. It's just kind of an, an inspo board, like it has an inspirational quote, um, some medals, a YouTube plaque, someone traveling, just kind of some stuff like that. In my actual phone, this is what the it opens up to. As you can see, my wallpaper is this tealish, yellowish, creamish color. Up at the very top, I have my to-do list widget. Right now, I just have two things on it. I put all of my widgets on with Widget Smith, and then the to-do list widget is from the app Reminders. Underneath that, I have my Bible Verses widget. This changes out from photos in an album, which I will show you right now. I found all these Bible verses on Pinterest. I think they're mainly from the same account, and I just thought they were really cute. They match my wallpaper, and they obviously mean a lot to me. My last widget on this page is just a clock widget that says the time. So all the apps that I have on this front page are my reminders app, where I make my to-do list, my calendar app, which I obviously use to put in events. I have my notes app, which I use a lot, although I have deleted a lot of my notes. I have Pinterest because I love to just scroll through here a lot. And then I have mail and Gmail, camera, and then photos. On this next page, I have a really big calendar widget. It doesn't have tons of things in it right now, but normally it is pretty full. Underneath that, I have YouTube. YouTube Studio, I use both of these apps a lot. Then I have Spotify and Among Us. I recently got Among Us and I'm just a little bit obsessed. And then at the bottom, I have my editing apps. So Pixar, Villo, Tezza, and Fonto. I don't really edit my videos on here. I mainly use this for my thumbnails, but I just have Villo in case I really do need to edit a video on here, I can. At the very bottom, I have phone, messages, and then Safari and settings. All of my apps on my home screen have app covers that I made on Fonto. I took the colors from my wallpaper and then found transparent icons on Safari and then just put them onto here using Fonto. And then I put them onto my home screen using the Shortcuts app. If you guys want to make your home screens really aesthetic, then I would definitely recommend checking out my video on that. I will put it in the description. Now I'm going to show you all the apps that I have in my app library. So I'm just going to skip suggestions and recently added because those will all show up later. So first we'll go into productivity and finance. First I have calendar, which you guys have already seen. Then I have contacts and files. You guys have already seen Gmail, mail, notes, and reminders. And then to customize my phone, I used shortcuts and widget smith. Next up is creativity. So I have camera and then iMemories. I love iMemories so much because my mom has put a lot of stuff into there and I think it's fun to watch videos of me when I was younger. And then Fonto, I have photos and then Pixar and Tezza. I have TubeBuddy, which I use to find good tags for my videos. I have Villo and then YouTube Studio, which I've talked about. I also have one other app that I use to help me with YouTube, but, and I think they put it into the utility section. So in here, I have the App Store, which I've been using a lot since this one is new. Calculator, Clock and Compass. I don't really use these ever. I would use the Clock app more, but I have an alarm on my Alexa. And I have Find My Home Measure app. Again, don't really ever use these. I do use Safari and settings, and then I don't really ever use voice memos or wallet. But I do use YouTube Tracker to track my YouTube growth. It has my subscriber count and my watch hours, although I've noticed that the watch time has been a little inaccurate recently. Next up, I have social, which is just messages, FaceTime, and phone. Down here, I have entertainment. So I have Disney+, Plus, iTunes Store, and music. I don't use those very much. Netflix and podcasts. I haven't been listening to any podcasts recently, but I was really into it those this summer. Prime Video and Spotify, Apple TV, and YouTube. Out of all of these, YouTube is obviously used the most. And then I have games. The only game I have is Among Us. I need to get more, although right now that's the only one I need because I've been playing that nonstop. Then in the other section, I just have Pinterest. Down here I have information and reading. I never use any of these apps, but there's books, news, stocks, tips, translate, and weather. 
In health and fitness, I have the health app and my Fitbit app. In travel, I just have maps. And then in education, I have the Remind app, which is what I've used in school to contact some of my teachers. I'm very proud of my phone. I spent most of today working on it. I think it is really cute. And I just feel really happy when I turn on my phone and I see this. I really hope you liked the video. Again, if you want to make your phones cute, you should definitely go check out my video on that. And I would just like to thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!